Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy new year! It is officially 2021 and I am so excited to kick off the year with this makeup look right here. So originally this was supposed to be a tutorial for New Year's Eve, but I decided to film it on New Year's Eve instead and get it up for you guys as the first video of 2021. Why you may ask? I just took a break from filming and decided to deep clean my house. I have this thing that I do every year where I like to declutter and clean and organize for the new year so I can start it off fresh and ready to go, no interruptions, and it just feels really, really good. So I dedicated the last couple of days to that. Right when I was about to film, I'm like, dang, New Year's Eve is tomorrow. I'm not gonna get the video up in time. I'm just gonna get ready tomorrow instead. So I'm excited for you guys to see this makeup tutorial. I definitely think this is the look that you can wear throughout the year. You can definitely remove the stones and it's a bomb makeup look. So it's like a neutral glam, like a truly a neutral glam makeup look. So real quick before we get started, I cannot start this video off without giving the biggest shout out to the girl who inspired today's makeup look. Her name is Sarah News FX. I found her actually on TikTok and was so inspired by this look and really wanted to create this look that she created. I think she actually did a much better job than I did. She's just gorgeous overall, but she placed gems like everywhere in her hair and she's a total freaking vibe so definitely check out her instagram and her tiktok she creates the most gorgeous looks and she's beautiful so shout out to her she is today's inspo i really wanted to recreate the look because i just loved it how it was subtle but still very glam and wearable and just really pretty so shout out to you girl you are bomb but anyways other than that i hope you guys are excited for today's makeup look it's pretty easy to follow along i think you guys are really gonna enjoy it actually so uh with that being said go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you guys are excited you like this kind of makeup looks before we get started as always subscribe to my channel if you are not go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up so that i know that you enjoy these kind of makeup looks and without further ado do let's go ahead and get into today's makeup video hello everybody starting off with the fresh face because we're going to be doing a lot on today's makeup look today's currently new year's eve and i want to look my best new year new me not really but i also want to wear like a makeup look that's wearable and cute and that i can wear pretty much year long so we're going to be doing things a little different today as well if you guys are an existing subscriber on my channel thank you so much Los quiero mucho. you will know my makeup routine by heart it's normally skincare brows eyes face and then lips but today we're doing things a little differently i know i know i know it's gonna mess with you guys because if you have been doing my routine for a while like following the steps it's a little hard to kind of get out of that comfort I recently started to and I love it so much more this way so I kind of introduce you guys this new way I've been doing my makeup I really feel that it's working wonders for me so what I'm gonna do is start off with my complexion so skincare then complexion then eyes then brows which is like the weirdest part about it you do brows at the very end lips and you're done it allows me to just spend more time on my face less time on my eyes and still get the same results and less time on my brows and they look better they don't look so sharpies i went ahead and already prepped my skin off camera i use my deep hydration oil infused serum this is my second bottle i've been using it like crazy and i love it so much and then i got a new one of my laura mercier the perfect cream it's a multitasking cream also been loving this one it's like a great daytime moisturizer it's a great primer for your face as well these products together go together so nicely because they don't roll off your face and oh they just feel so good so i have these two on and then i popped on a little bit of eye cream can't tell you guys which one it is it's not mine but it's, it's one that i've known about for a while and it's not out yet so can't say which one it is but i did pop on some eye cream and let me just tell you guys right now i'm loving it looks good now i'm gonna go ahead and just add some primer on my skin and today i'm gonna actually use this one from nyx it is called the marshmallow primer i surprisingly really like this one it looks like whipped cream honestly it's nice and it does have that marshmallowy finish to it but what i like is that it is so soothing on my skin i believe it has marshmallow extract or some kind of like extract of marshmallow in here i forgot what it oh marshmallow root in here and that's what's gonna help to soothe and smooth the skin do you guys like also how my ring is just making an appearance in today's video is my first time actually filming a tutorial with uh, my ring on my channel <laughs> hello you're gorgeous which is kind of the inspiration to some of the look as well it's very lightweight and I like that it just kind of it doesn't really mattify my face but it just creates this beautiful finish not tacky it's just really nice like my foundation goes on so nicely over this so so now i'm going in with my foundation and i'm going to be using the soft matte foundation from nars in the shade stromboli medium three a favorite foundation of mine is the natural radiance love this my holy grail my day one like i will never leave this one ever so it's a sister to it a little bit more on the matte side but i love it because we're going to be doing a ton of glow on the skin and on the side of the eyes that i kind of want the skin to be a little bit more like just put and mattified so that we can add a lot of glow and we don't have too much going on it'll be like all in the right places so we're Go ahead and use this one. I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it on with my It Cosmetics brush and just pounce this on the skin. You can see the coverage is 
amazing on this. I like that the, even though this is like a pretty matte foundation, it doesn't mattify you where like you look completely dry. It's like a, a soft matte. It's perfect. A little bit of a glow, but not so much. And the coverage is just amazing on this one. I think it's like a great winter foundation too. And there you go. You guys can see kind of side by side comparison of the coverage. It's it's amazing. Color's really nice as well. I usually go about a shade or two darker than my skin, but that's only because I do go pretty bright with my highlight and my under eyes that this is kind of evens it all out. Get my ears as well. So today, as I mentioned, is New Year's Eve, guys, and we have absolutely zero plans. I'm sure a lot of you guys are staying home as well, but I decided that I wanted to get ready anyways and do a makeup look and take photos and just, you know, make the best of it here at the house. So I went and ordered a bunch of stuff from Party City. I did like a curbside pickup and I picked up like this giant champagne balloon, which I don't know if you guys know, but I do not like balloons. Balloons freak me out. I'm traumatized from this one experience when I was little. It's not every balloon though. It's only latex balloons. Latex balloons freak me out when they rub against each other, the sound of them. Pretty much when I was younger, I was uh, picking up and order balloons for my little brother's birthday, but my car was full of balloons. You guys know when you see like a bunch of clowns in a car, it just looks crazy. That's how my car looked. It was like every color balloon in the car. And I'm driving home with all these balloons and it, it started with them rubbing on each other. Ooh, that noise just hurts my ears. And they started popping like behind me and I'll just never forget like how scared I was so I was driving and it was like Phew. and then like every five minutes another one would pop in another one and I just remember the sound of them and so ever since then I've never really liked balloons I personally like the you know the big ones that say like congratulations or <laughs> 2021 whatever it is like they're kind of like shiny and different those I don't mind because they're a little thicker a little better quality but the latex I can't so I didn't get that kind I decided to do that and I figured we can get ready for the day and make it seem like we're going somewhere and they'll get me very excited so so for my foundation i'm gonna be going in with this one from hourglass it is the vanish concealer in the shade sepia and i'm gonna be pretty much doing my same concealer routine that i normally like to do so this is a pretty expensive concealer i'm not gonna lie but it is really good it's kind of like a more hydrating shape tape has amazing amazing coverage if you guys have been on my channel for a while you'll know that for the longest time i was obsessed with this foundation it's all i use it's pretty much like a concealer version of that foundation it's so good coverage is great i love this one it's been like a favorite of mine because i find it to be very hydrating but still give me the coverage that I want on my under eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this all up here. I'm gonna add just a little more. I'm gonna just a whole lot more. There we go. So the trick I like to do with my concealer lately is to let it sit. And I let it sit anywhere from like a minute to like three minutes. And that way it kind of dries down a little bit. And when I blend it out, it's not so watery and running around. But when I go over it, I find it to just really stay in place and kind of lock in and last a little longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it sit for a few minutes and then come back to blend it out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending it out. I actually already started to, but you can see it's like, just does something a little different to me. Let me know if you guys have tried this and what you think about it. But I find this to just really make the concealer just looks so much better. I'm gonna go ahead and also add it to the lids of my eyes just to kind of even this out because I feel like my eyelids are a completely different color. See, it does something. Going in next with this Fenty powder. This is their new soft matte powder foundation in the shade 260. So this is like a two in one. You're gonna get lots of coverage with this. I'm gonna be using it to set my skin. So what I like to do is just kind of hit a round brush over this, like a powder brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit my T-zone and then my skin to just kind of set everything in. I always like to do this before I go in with bronzer or my under eye baking powder. It's my first time actually using this. Let me know if you guys have tried this before with foundation on its own and kind of what you guys think about it. I really don't know what to expect about this other than knowing that it's got like amazing coverage it looks really good i'm also gonna hit my under eyes just to kind of do a light a light set okay so for my blush i'm gonna be going in with this one from persona it is a super blush in the shade terracotta it kind of looks like a bronzer because it is in the peachy tone but it's a little brighter so i think it's gonna be nice for this look since it's pretty like neutral tones so i'm gonna use this blush and just add it on with this brush from nars and just you go right over pretty much ooh, pretty much the bronzer i also over apply blush now because i find that when i'm done with everything it just kind of like melts right into the skin go a little heavy if you do something like this so that you can really see it at the end or you can just add more at the end if you want i'm gonna go ahead and add now my baking and let me tell you guys what i have been loving again 
derma blend i didn't think i was gonna ever go back to this one again but i have been loving it so much lately so what i like to do is actually use my laura mercier one first and then from there add the derma blend on top it's so bright and it's just so nice on the under eyes so i'm gonna go ahead and get my laura mercier powder and add my camo concealer sponge into there from elf just like that i think i need to officially go purchase a hand mirror because i don't have a, a hand mirror at the moment just gonna continue setting my under eyes with this. So this one is Laura Mercier. And instead of going like straight out, what I like to do is kind of go up into the eye, which again, one of the reasons I've been really liking doing my eyes later because I'm really able to work on my complexion and kind of perfect things that I would normally stop at right there or, or not do because my eye makeup would already be done. Maybe down a little bit down the nose. And then I'm also going to get some more and just clean up my jawline area. And while we bake, I'm gonna go ahead and do my nose contour and I'm gonna be using my Hoola bronzer from Benefit. And let me tell you guys, the brush that I've been loving lately is this one from Wet n Wild. So this is like a dual sided brush. I think it came out with the Melody and Karomi collection. And I've been liking it because this is nice and fluffy. In the past, I've used similar things to this where it's kind of like on this shape, but I've always liked it to be a little bit more fluffy because it's easier to blend out versus doing like a brush, I don't know, for example, something like this. I find this to be too skinny and then it just creates lines versus it looking natural. So what I like to do is get the bronzer on the brush and from there just kind of do the same thing I normally would do when I do any kind of contouring because the brush is so much bigger It really allows me to buff it out nicely And also again because I haven't done my brows yet I'm really able to work the contour into the nose area So I'm gonna go ahead and play some music for you guys and just start to do my contour because this takes me a little bit <laughs> now we're gonna move into the eyes i went ahead and primed my eyes off camera and i just used my p louise rumor base you guys know i love this one i just added it to the lid to just get it a little primed we did already have concealer on so i didn't need too much if you guys are wondering why it's a little brighter that is because i use the derma blend powder this shit is so good oh my god so i just used a little bit to brighten it up but also what's good is that if it falls out we can dust it away and it's still gonna stay nice and bright my laura mercier is already like settled in so it's like a really nice combo i really like it this is the look as i mentioned to you guys earlier we're gonna be recreating oh it's so fire look at that look it's, oh, it's so nice so you know i think it's gonna be a pretty easy one it looks pretty easy i feel like it's just like creating the shape and then the lid color i hope and i have the perfect palette for today's look as well we're gonna be using the essential palette from vive which is jamie genevieve's makeup line look how pretty this is every essential color in here golds oranges a little taupey, a little black, it's everything in here. I'm gonna start off by actually applying on the shade So Shy with this big blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of dust it on top. Just kind of set the eye, and that's kind of gonna be the lid color for now. We'll add more, but just wanna kind of set it in real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Buff and pretty much start to create the shape that she has on the eyelid. I wanna trace it first, just to make sure we get it down. So she goes all the way. It's really easy to get this look down by first like sketching it out and making sure that you like the placement of it. Oh, that looks already really good. And then from there, working from that. It looks good like that, but when I'm looking straight, I just gotta make sure it looks nice and even. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and work off of that for now. I'm gonna now get a blending brush and just kind of start to lightly blend it out. And just keep on buffing it. And I'm working pretty much like above the crease. You know what I just realized? I feel like I need, can just, I could fix this and add this later. I think that's what I'm gonna try to do because the way I'm doing it, I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna stress myself out more if I try to do it this other way. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a brush now and... Oh yeah, I see what I'm doing. Okay, okay. I think I got this down. Okay. <laughs> Ignore me guys. Me trying to figure it out. That's why I should've done one eye first. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna now buff it up and kind of work above, above the eye. <laughs> this is not looking good at all. I'm getting hot from being nervous. Okay, so keep on working above the eye. And honestly, don't worry about this down here. We're gonna clean it up with the base, but for now, just work, worry about getting this part nice and blended. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Delicious and I'm gonna use this really thin eyeliner brush and use a little bit of my Morphe setting spray. Just kind of gets it a little wet. And I'm going to draw a line, kind of like an eyeliner over what I just created. Trust 
the process, okay? Trust the process. Wow, this is looking so good. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on adding some more of delicious just to really ensure that I like where it's at and that we have enough on. And then right here is where I feel like we're gonna spend a little bit more time trying to fig figure this out, but spray a little bit more on. So by spraying on some setting spray, you're honestly making it go on more like an eyeliner. Because it's a shadow, it's really easy to blend out. And I feel like you have more control. Like if you do this with like a actual liquid liner, it's a little harder to work with versus this, you're just kind of getting the effect as an eyeliner, but it's not an eyeliner. Do you know what I mean? Wow, we are looking good over here looking real real good okay, i'm going to be adding a little bit more of delicious pinch it together oh wow Ooh, that looks really really good i'm gonna now tilt my head back and just make sure everything is nice and blended i think it's looking good i'm very very happy now because i was getting a little little worried right now of how this is gonna come out so i know it looks good we can continue from there but because i like to perfect everything i'm gonna go in with the base and clean it up this is optional but personally i just have to do it especially right here because i don't find this to look as clean i'm gonna go ahead and add that in just a bit but we gotta add a little bit of this on so i'm picking up a little bit of the p louise base and rumor and i'm using the laura lee los angeles brush l17 it's a great like flat brush perfect for defining and getting in this area all right so there is the first bit of it she didn't go as low but i'll just clean up a little more and i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of follow the same steps i'm gonna go ahead now and start working my way up oh my god i cannot talk when I'm trying to explain how to do this kind of stuff. It's a little difficult for me. So bear with me while I get this done. Woo! There we go. Look how nice that is looking. Wow. Wow. This is making me so happy. So it's a little hard to explain while I'm doing it because I feel like I have to concentrate, but pretty much this base is perfect for this because it's just cleaning this area up making it look really nice and like a clean cut and i'm just really able to fake my space and make it look a lot bigger if i need it to or whatever but i love the way this came out and actually i didn't really have to clean this area up this is honestly perfect i'm actually just going to blend the rest of the base on the lid so that it's nice and even Oh my God, I'm so happy about this. I'm gonna use that first brush that I used earlier to connect the bottom of the liner and the top part. And that is honestly the trick to make it look like it's like an eyeliner because at first I was like, how does she connect it all and do that? And sometimes it, it takes my last two brain cells to really put the math together and like figure it out. Cause I was like, dang, she really like cut the crease and then went in there and like added all that. But no, it's honestly, I feel like it's done this way. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of delicious, more delicious. Feeling very confident right now with this look. And I'm gonna now go over the first color, just kind of like I did, and connect it all together. Oh my God, I am so happy. Now that we have that on, which was like the hardest part, we're gonna go ahead and add the lid color space. So I'm gonna use the shade So Shy. And I noticed that she also does have a little bit of shimmer. So I think the color Glimmer will be perfect to add on top, just kind of in the center. But first we need to like seal it down. So I'm gonna be using, like I said, So Shy. And also the Melt Cosmetics Beetlejuice brush is so cute. So I'm gonna use this to place the shadow on top, lock in the base and seal the deal. And it's like a nice bright color too. I'm gonna use the brush I used for to cut the crease as well to get in on those harder to reach areas, like right here. I'm loving it, I really am. I'm gonna go ahead now and pop on Glimmer and add it just to the center of the eye. And that is about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera and then come back and finish off the eyes with mascara and then all the gems. I just kind of want to do this one so that I remember and not mess it up and that way they can look nice and even. Okay, really quickly, look at the difference between the eye with the lash and no lash. It's a mess. We always need a good lash. So I'm gonna go now and pop this one on. I like to take it just kind of right in the center, but I extend a little out and then always work above and that creates more of like a flare to the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and pinch the end of my eyes together. There we go, for the eyes. That is looking so good. Let me go look at the photo really quickly. Okay, we're gonna do the gems last. So next we're gonna move into the eyebrows. Again, this is like a really weird routine in how I'm doing them, but I promise you, I think it's a lot better for me. By the way, I'm getting my brows laminated next week, which is gonna be very exciting because I have the craziest brows. Like, I don't think you guys understand how thick the hair is. Lashes are intact. I feel like it gave me like a kind of sleepy, sexy, seductive look to my eyes. And that's kind of the vibe that I wanted, so. 
I'm okay with this. We're now gonna move into my eyebrows and this is gonna be very, very fast and easy. So I don't mind doing my brows on camera because normally I don't like doing them on camera. But I'm gonna go to now uh, get my eyebrow pencil from NYX. This is the micro brow pencil. Anything will work, just kind of get them in place. And I'm now gonna go ahead and just fill them in. And unlike my previous brow application, I'm just flicking a little bit on and I'm just filling in the gaps. The whole point of this is that just so it looks a lot more softer and natural and I only get it where I need it. Like I have a lot of gaps in my brows, but I don't necessarily need to completely fill them in. So I'm just doing it where I need more color. I'm sure you guys can already see like a big difference in how they look. A little goes a long way. Okay, and then at the front, I'm just gonna flick up a little bit and that is pretty much it. I'm not really adding a lot to the front of the brow. Otherwise, I feel like I'll end up looking very fake and kind of stenciled and I kind of want it to look as natural and soft as possible. Woo, this look is coming out so good. Really quickly, I went off camera and drenched, and I mean drenched my skin in setting spray. My favorite to use is from Glow Recipe, the watermelon mist. You honestly can use anything, just make sure it has like a glowy finish. That way, it makes the foundation, the powders and everything look very luminous and you don't look, you know, like death, like just dry. I already have pretty dry skin, so I have to use a lot of hydrating products but i like to kind of like counteract everything together make my own little concoction but i'm loving the way it came out and remember the blush earlier how intense it looked look how different it looks now i feel like it's settled in and it looks good it looks really really good so i am loving how everything looks so far and if you ever feel like you're just a little too dewy you can set the skin with a little bit of powder and it will look really nice also this nose contour are we feeling it it's pretty intense, but I really like it. Another reason why I like to set my skin before is because my next step is gonna be adding on some highlight. And I find that when I don't set my skin after powders, my highlight doesn't really glide on nicely. It kind of just falls right off. So because there's so many powders already on, the highlight needs something underneath to really pick up the particles to really stand out. So fun little trick before you do highlight, add your setting spray. So we're gonna be using the shade Holy Chic from Vive as well and adding this onto the high points of my face. And I'm gonna start this right on Oh my gosh, my cheekbone. And the reason I'm doing it before too is because we're gonna be obviously adding the gems onto the side of my face. I wanna kinda just be done with my complexion already so we don't really mess anything up once it's on. You guys know I love a forehead glow. For this fat head of mine, oh wow, this is giving me life. And you know what? I think this would also look really pretty in the inner corner. Like I know we already added, actually I didn't even show it on camera. I added a little bit of an inner corner highlight but I'm gonna add a little more. I am really, really, really feeling this entire look. So pretty. I'm gonna go in now with the Too Faced Killer Eyeliner in the shade Cashmere. Like a nice, nudie linen eyeliner. This is a 36 hour waterproof wear and it's said to not run or flake or smudge. So I'm gonna add this to my waterline. We're keeping it pretty simple underneath. The focus of today's look is obviously the top of the eyes and the gems. So we wanna make sure that we keep it pretty soft on the bottom. And also something else I'm gonna do is add a little bit of shadow underneath. So this is totally optional, but I personally like to add shadow underneath in my eyes. I got some new brushes today from Real Techniques, so I kinda wanna use these eyeliner brush. So I'm gonna use the shade Buff, and I'm going to just tap this right in the center of the eye and buff it over the powder, and it's just going to add a little bit of color. This is also a great way to kind of also set the under eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the center of the eyes. This really helps to open up the eye. Also kind of, I don't know, just marries everything together. Doesn't look so bare. So lastly, we're gonna go ahead and do a, one more set of setting spray. This time we're gonna be using the Morphe Mini Continuous Setting Spray. This is like a really good like long wearing setting spray to the skin that I really like. It doesn't really add a glow or anything, but it, to me it's just kind of like the seal, the deal for my face kind of situation. Just do a little bit of that. We've already did the glow ones. The glow ones look nice and subtle. This one's gonna just Shoop it all in. We're gonna do my lower lash mascara last because I'm gonna be moving my eyes around a lot and I don't want this to transfer. So now we're gonna be going in with gems. This is my second look doing gems and I'm obsessed with them. However, this time it's a little bit of a different placement. So the focus is going to be all along the side of my eye and then the inner corner and that is pretty much it. And I'm gonna be using them from the same brand that I used last time, which is Get Stoned and not that kind of stoned. We're gonna get this kind of stoned. From the photo I've seen of this beautiful girl, she does quite a lot. She even has them on the side of her hair, but my hair is gonna be down, so I don't think we're gonna do them anywhere else but right here. So she has probably like 15 on each side. So we're just gonna go ham on it. She kind of mixes up the tones, which I like that. Silver is gold and white. So we're gonna just play around with it. I'm gonna walk you through a couple of them just to kind of remind you guys how I do it. You guys gotta bear with me while I do this because I'm new to the gem world, okay? I'm not the best at applying them on. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. 
cute, cute. Next one. I need to find a better way at getting the glue on there or, or what's the trick. If you guys have any tips and tricks when you apply your stones, let me know. I think this little applicator thing is probably the best thing that I have had to apply it on with, but I'm still struggling. All right, moving along, we're gonna go ahead and now apply the smaller ones and the smaller one is gonna go one on the brow bone and then one above the brow bone. Okay, ooh, yay! There we go for the gem application. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera since you guys already kind of got an idea of this and come back to finish off the lips and show you guys the finish look. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips and I feel like this is really gonna just steal this whole look. On the photo, she is wearing like a nudie pink lip and that's kind of what I wanna do. I'm also gonna pair it with these ColourPop lip pencils. So um, maybe we'll use Deeper and BFF3. I'm gonna be using the Dota Colors Supernatural Lipstick. So I'm gonna pop that right in the center. So I think we're gonna be using the Kylie Gloss Stuck On You. It's like a really pretty nude color. I just realized I forgot to do an outro, but this is a finish on this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.